Hello everybody. In this video we are talking about converting uh, Audia styles from Catch on Audia, converting them to MIDI and after that uh, using that MIDI in Cubase or any another software, recording software like Pro Tools, Logic Pro, whatever you have. And then after that we want to convert uh, that uh, we want to edit that file save it uh, uh, as a midi and then change extension to kst format and use those styles from audio in catch on series sd90 sd9 sd60 those styles we can as well use uh, in cork keyboards or yamaha keyboards but we, we have to do some things so this video is going to be basic information about converting then upgraded information about editing and then some more information uh, for people who are who, who are who, who has more knowledge about how styles editing and styles converting works and those things i will give you some advanced uh, knowledge uh, for people who knows more about these things so watch this video a few times and some of uh, you will understand something some of you will understand more things depends of uh, how much knowledge do you have so what i have here in front of me, I have a folder, a Audio Factory Styles folder, where I have some Audio Factory Styles. Pay attention to this folder and what do we have here. First style that we have here is Beat Brush Style. So pay attention to this because when we continue to work with Audio Compiler, it is going uh, uh, to be some changes, visible changes in this folder. So let me start uh, Audio Style Compiler. Now what we want to do, we want to open one path style and we will press this here. It is ready to use. We'll press source from Audio style. Now we'll go to desktop. We'll go to this Audio factory folder and we will choose one style, for example, 70s beat pattern, PAT extension or Audio pattern style. And we will say open. Now it says here information correctly, file extracted. But by the same time, when file is extracted, look at now my folder. It is not anymore just here beat brush. You can see that here appear another folder. And inside of that folder, at the same time, when I open that file, actually I got MIDI file already converted. That pattern from Audio that is opened is right away converted to MIDI file. Let me open that now in Cubase. Let me close this file, don't save it. I want to open this MIDI file in Cubase. Let us see, am I able to do this? I will go and say open, and then I will go to, uh, uh, to desktop, and then Audio Factory folder, and then 70s. Uh, actually, not open. I have to go to file, import, MIDI, and then desktop, audio folder, style, and then MIDI file. Now I will say open. Now it is asking me where I want to save that file. You can choose location, new folder, uh, give it same name like this uh, style, and then select that folder. When you select that folder, it will open your MIDI file and it works. Now you can see my path file that is uh, with Audio compiler uh, converted to MIDI file, it, now it is open in my Cubase. And you can see or familiar those uh, markers that are same in a uh, catch on world. It doesn't matter is that Audio or new series SD90, SD60, SD9. Now you can see what we have here. We have variation, all variation. We have uh, Beside variation, we have intros, we have everything here. Now, my suggestion is next one here. You will connect your SD90 and make sure that you press menu and MIDI and it is connected USB MIDI because my Catron is connected through USB MIDI to my computer. Now, when it's connected through USB MIDI, I want to make sure that under studio, more option MIDI device, when I choose Catron, is output MIDI gadget. That is actually my catch-on. It is called MIDI gadget. It is not called like in Cork World. If I click here, you can find I have digital workstation. That means Genos. And I, if I have Cork PA4, it will show my Cork PA4 or, uh, here in my uh, output MIDI devices. Or I have MIDI Sport. 
I have another fast line MIDI interface. In this case, MIDI gadget is my Catron. I will close this and every channel here should be directed to MIDI gadget. As you can see, it is directed to MIDI gadget. Now I can read name of the instruments and I can put new, uh, I, can, I can choose those uh, instruments for my Catron. Because musical resource from Audia is not same like here. What is musical resource? System informations. It is place where all those sounds uh, in storage in the keyboard, where are those sounds. So we don't have same sounds, we don't have same names, and they are not on same location. But we have their names here. It says electric bass, bass. Now we will click here and we will just put here bass. And then on list of the bass, we will choose one bass. For example, I want to choose finger bass. I will put finger bass. Finger bass, finger 34. That is a finger bass that I want to choose. I am able to do this because, as I showed you, I have template for Catron. Under Studio, More Option, MIDI Devices, that is template for Cat Catron. And it's uh, directed to uh, MIDI gadget output. And now, whatever I choose here, uh, here it is go uh, go going to be re redirected, redirected uh, from here to my Catron. Now, for example, Vibraphone. If I go and write here Vibraphone, it will show my Vibraphone on this instrument, and I will put it there. Drums, French horns, for example, it says trumpet section. I will just write down French horns. And it is not there, French horns, so that means doesn't have that instrument. But I will put just horns. And then I can choose one of the horns that is in this instrument. Now, when I choose that horn, I will choose any similar instrument to this name from Audia style. I have every similar instrument that is, is MSD90. Now when I have everything, I will get rid of track number three and number four. I don't need them. Those are lower tracks. And I will just say, remove selected tracks. I will just keep my tracks that I have for my left hand, for my style. When I have, when I have everything that is prepared, I don't need to change any of those information about uh, breaks, about fills. Let me just see something here. I want to make sure. Oh, okay. No, I don't have to change. Everything is good. I just wanted to make sure that uh, my markers uh, for for this guy is fill F I L A. So uh, it is not like my video that I showed you a couple days ago that I made about uh, converting uh, live drums from Audio to Catron. Remember. In that video, audio drums, they have, for Phil, they have F-I-L-L, -L, but uh, that is in audio. But uh, in organization of this guy, it is F-I-L, not two L, just one. F-I-L-A is Phil A. Now, uh, in this case, for markers, we don't have that problem. So just keep all same markers and you will be happy. What I want to do, what else I want to do? I want to click on any track and I want to click uh, to MIDI and I want to click to open list editor. In my list editor, it will look like this. I can see notes and I can see control changes, program changes, effects, main volume, pan, and all those information. In Cubase, I will click uh, here on hide notes. When I hide notes, I will click on any control changes, hold control A and delete them. I will do that for every track. So uh, instead of going to MIDI, uh, open list editor, I have uh, I made command Alt L and it will go right away in your list editor. Alt L, list editor. Click on any control, select, delete everything, but make sure that you have Hidden notes, don't delete notes. Now when you do everything, why I'm doing this? Because those information about uh, bank changes, control changes, program changes, they're related to Audia. 
in Audia, all those sounds are on another location comparing to this guy. Especially if I want to use this style in Korg or Genos. I want to get rid of those informations. I don't need them. Those information, when I get rid of those information, now I will save it as a MIDI file, change extension to KST, import in Catron, and in Catron, I will do that editing. I will choose instruments. I will choose volume. I will choose pan if I want to pan. I will put effects, whatever I want to want effect. And then when I save it, by the time when I'm saving that, all those information will be saved with Catron. And if I open it as a MIDI file, I will see all those information, but now they are related to SD90 world. Now, if I want to work with Korg, I will save it as a MIDI file, import as a MIDI file in Korg, I can change everything. Or I can change my MIDI channels, my markers. Actually, I have to change markers before I import that as a MIDI file in Korg. If I want to import that as a MIDI file in Korg, and uh, if I want to import that in Genus, I have to change markers. I have to change Korg markers to chord markers or to genus markers. When I have it in chord markers, then I can import that as a MIDI file in chord and then I can work further in editing of instruments. Or I can do everything here in Cubase and finish everything in Cubase, connect chord, listen to chord, finish in Cubase. And when I have everything ready here, when I import it in chord, it is going to sound exactly the same like in Cubase. That is how is chord powerful. So, if I want to do that for a genus world, I can do everything, prepare for genus world, but then I have to go through my style magic software. And in my style magic software, I have to prepare that as a style, import in genus, do some editing in genus, and get everything ready to be played in genus. So, as I told you on the beginning, this video is containing a lot of information, a lot of, it is not just about the, uh, somebody asked me how to convert and make MIDI file. It is actually information about converting PAD file to MIDI, importing in Cubase, editing in Cubase, preparing for a uh, platform that you want to use it on, Korg, Genos, uh, or Catron new series, and then after editing and preparing, exporting, and do further editing in keyboard or in addition, additional software if you are do, uh, dealing with uh, Genos, it is style magic. So complex video with a lot of information that I'm giving to you for free. So I think I deserve uh, that uh, you at least sign to my channel, like or dislike. I have people who will always put dislike right away. <laughs> It doesn't matter what I'm talking about. They just dislike whatever they, they are dislike whole life. But uh, it doesn't matter about like this. That's why I hide, uh, I hide like and dislike. So I want to mention one thing. Don't ask me for contact. I have thousands of uh, subscribers. I don't have time to talk to everybody and to answer every email and to give you my phone numbers. I have my private life. This channel is there. Uh, channel uh, through this channel we can deal with those videos I can help you put some comments there and then uh, we will go from this further to explanations or if you don't understand something so but on email on uh, don't ask me for email contact number I am I don't have time for those things and I can answer that please understand me we are we will deal through this USB uh, channel thank you for watching this video have a great day and hopefully this video uh, that contains a lot of information will be beneficial for some of you.